Hey everyone, Mario from 110 here, back with more Mario and Luigi Dream Team. In the last episode, we made it to Mount Pajamaja. Climbed it up, or how do I say it? We climbed it a little bit, and in this episode, we're going to devote the whole thing. Like, we're, we're going to devote the whole episode into climbing, not just, you know, part way and arriving here and everything. So, we'll spend our time, as in the whole episode, climbing it. Okay. Wait, what the hell? Huh, how come I can't break this rock? That's kind of weird. Isn't the hammer matching up with the... the break... Th the, the damage on the rock? Oh, come on! Jeez. That was kind of... glitchy-ish? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Sorry for stuttering in the first minute of this uh, episode, but, um, I had to deal with a couple things before I started just now, and I'm a little bit angry, but I'm gonna try my best to not let it affect the episode. I mean, hey, this is some badass music. Yeah, the Dreamworld version of Mount Pajamaja is, oh my god, this, like, the, the music here is amazing. Um, but yes. In the last episode, I also forgot to mention this, of course. It's you know it's about time to be like Mario's turn to rank up, right? And so we are going to do that in this episode, and not just in this episode. We're going to do it pretty damn fast, actually. Oh, just got to dodge this one move. Ah, there we go. <laughs> they threw a weight at me. Another representation of Mount Pajamaja and beef and strength and all that. But, um, yeah. We're about to get Mario's rank up pretty easily. Just touch that badge and <laughs> they're all dead. And there's another expert challenge completed. One more battle left. At least I believe so. Let's just see how many points he needs. Oh, 175. If we get another battle finished, um, he'll have seven more experience. So you know what? Or wait, what am I looking at? Okay, I I'm looking at this. I'm looking at experience bro gloves. I know the plan. Let's uh, try and hit this. Come on. Yes, I hit him. Okay, good. Initiate with the first attack. Or the first strike, rather. And then I'll do a uh, illusionary move. And get more, you know, get 20% more experience. Plus that hit as well, so there's more chance to get it. Alright, they are weakened. Let's use the ball. Dun, 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 dun. I like to launch Luigi in the air with the beat of the music. It's addicting for some reason. I don't know. You ever play a game and you just, like, your actions go well with the music perfectly? And no, I'm not talking about, like, Rhythm Heaven or, uh, rhythm heaven or anything. <laughs> rhythm Heaven. And, uh, yeah, with that, Mario has now reached level 16. And... His second rank up. Yes! Mario has also achieved flower rank. So, you know the drill. Drum roll, please. Which one will it be this time? Oh, this is going to be exciting. What could it be, folks? Which perk shall Mario get this time? The answer is... Gear Slot 1. Now, there were two voters that chose this perk. So, I'm gonna have to choose, aren't I? Hmm, who will I choose? Hmm. I think I know who I'll choose. I am going to choose the Mario Sonic Kirby 91. Congratulations, man. You are the next user on my background. Congratulations. 
<laughs> we now have a total of four users. Yeah, this this background is getting filled up quite nicely. <sighs> getting filled up quite nicely. It's funny because sexual intercourse. Um. Oh look, I just noticed this. My stats going from up to down, <laughs> up and down. But no, um, cut it out, Mario fan. Get the dirty stuff out of your head. Um, eight two. Oh, eight two four two eight. Four. It's like eight two four. Then that's like two eight four. So it kind of mixes it up. I, I don't know. Just being random. But what should I pick though? Maybe defense. Nah, that's not offering much at all. Stash? Eh. Attack power. Okay, I'll choose attack power. Use my little trick there. Yeah, just to get the, you know, the guaranteed highest number. Alright, there we go. We've spent a lot of time on that, sorry. But hey, it's a rank up. It's not every day that those things happen. You know, I don't know if it's just me, I really hope it isn't, because I get the feeling a lot of other people agree with me, well, when I say it. Does this tune sound, like, just about exact to Mario RPG, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Styles? Eh, you know what I meant to say. I don't know. It just feels like that. This tune sounds really familiar. It's, um... Ah, oh, what's that famous area in Mario RPG? Keep in mind, folks, I've never legitimately played Super Mario RPG. That's the only one that I haven't played played. I've touched a controller, I've moved Mario around, but I've only played it for, like, an hour at best at, of my entire lifetime. What is that famous... Wait, is it is it Forest Maze? Yeah, yeah, this tune sounds like that. I hope I'm not the only one that thinks that, because it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> so hungry. Well, you're free now. Go get some food or something. I don't know, just saying that. Refreshing herb, dang in a taunt bowl. Sweet. And our second oh, I thought that was gonna be our first one. Ah, oh, shoot. Can't get that pillow yet. Oh yeah, what's this? Let's read these, shall we? Here lies a hero of buffness, Muscle Lord Biceptus. Biceptus almost single-handedly suppressed the great protein rebellion of the Vegibrodes. His turgid biceps were said to be infused with a divine power no amount of lifting could match. When he swung his fist earthward, the very ground would tremble for miles at his might. Let the legends record, or record, or whatever, that no clothes would ever lift, or, or, or would ever fit this muscle lord's body. Ever. <laughs> ever. Just had to specify that. Ever. Why, why do I pay attention to that word? I don't know. It's interesting humor, though, I gotta say. Okay, there should be something over here. Yes, there is an enemy. Let's battle it. There's another thing we could do, but... We don't have the ability to get through that passageway, so... We can't do that yet. But we'll be learning the ability in this episode. That is... That is for sure. That is the plan. Um, I'm not going to use buyback cannon just for one enemy. Not for one. If there's like two enemies, I could do that too. Oh, come on! That should have done damage! Now it just... The, now the game just changes its, its mind? That's kind of strange. Did you see that? It's like, uh... I don't feel like adding damage with the iron ball now. Mm. It's like a kid, you know? 
just doesn't want to do it now, but is fine with it later or something. I don't know. I never want to have kids, at least not right now. I just... I don't want to plan for it. Like, not even close to it. I just... I don't know about you guys, but... No, I, I don't want to become a dad. It's just... It's not... Not for me. Um... It, it's such a tough talk. Or how should I put it? It's it, it, it's a tough conversation to talk about, because, you know, talking about parenting and if you want to have a baby, you don't know what's going to happen in the future, so why am I even talking about it? Oh well. Got both of those challenges done. And I'm pretty much a third of the way to getting a thousand points. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's what I was talking about. Can't, can't get past that right now. So, we'll continue with climbing. And hopefully we can do this in one try, this Gonzola. Let's start this. Just look at the A and B button flash up on screen. There we go. Oh, this one's actually kind of funny. Here lies a hero of buffness, Muscle Lord Tackle Crush. Tackle Crush led the charge in the legendary assault on Black Friday Sale Rack. Many foes stood before him, but with a single tackle, he scattered them as a tornado. None could overtake him as he plunged through the fray, leaving only wind and failure behind. Rock hard were his shopping muscles, but none were equal to the hard lock on his wallet. Hmm. <laughs> If only I had that power. Nah. We'll hit you too. Let's get Luigi up there. <laughs> Dodge you. And let's just use this. There we go. We didn't use it in the dream world, so let's use it for this battle just to keep things moving. Um... Alright, I'll do a green shell now since, you know, they're both on the ground. And, eh, I'm sure this will finish them off. The Flibby's weak. There we go. Yeah, he didn't have health. And that green shell looked like I collected all the coins there, I don't know if you noticed. And, oh, I still got my excellent, that's awesome. I think I've said that before, but I just love how that works. Okay. Now, wait, is that all there was in... Just down here? Yeah, okay. Just just an enemy hanging in the south part of that. That's cool, I guess. Well, speaking of cool, or the complete opposite. You are slow, here now. Alright. Here now. Sweet. Alright. What's going on, guys? Use for his challenge is no joke. You must leap a bit like hurled pork chop. We go small, bro. Oh, die, large, bro. Spin jumping! You see? Lou is full of muscle. It's called spin jump. Yes, yes, I know. I've beaten all the other Mario and Luigi RPGs, so I should know. All the other games have this same move. Without move, Mountain laughs at you. Little sausages must master spin jump. Or it is crying time. Tour ends here. <laughs> Quite literally, I'm, I'm dead. I'll fall in the lava. Or magma, or whatever. You think this can be done? Um. I hope so. We've done it three times before in, you know, the other games, so. Is good, this spirit. You give this try. First, press our button twice to change icon to spin jump. You know, I... I just gotta get this out there. Is it just me? Or do these guys remind you of Superstar Saga when they taught you the high jump? You know those guys that wore red and green? Stardust Fields, I think it was called? Yeah, those guys. Do these two remind you of them? I don't know. I love playing Superstar Saga on my Game Boy Advance. SP. Which is, which is weird, because I haven't played Superstar Saga for a couple years now. I really need to do that. 
And speaking of Game Boy Advance SP, does this R button look like the Game Boy Advance SP's R, like, R button? Because it does. It's, it, it's like exactly the same graphic for the R button on the SP. You see how A button changed to spin jump. Now, press A button so red guy jumps on green guy. Is good. Next step, press A button again to spin like meat grinder. Heh, <laughs> that's actually clever writing. Slide the circle pad to, to left and move around. Huh, <laughs> look at that. Mario and Luigi are twirling pretty, uh, pretty like, or how am I saying it? They're hovering infinitely. Look at that, guys. They're not touching the ground. How long are they going to stay out there for? Jeez. Wish I had that ability. I wonder if there are cheat codes for that to happen. Like in any in any Mario and Luigi game. Just, I don't know, just a thought. That'd be pretty sweet. Is perfect work. Is good flexing. Use circle pad while moving around, duh. That changes hover direction for you. Alright. Spin jump. Also, action icon goes back to jump, yes, yes, to reset it. Reset icon to jump with L button. Or, reset icon to jump with L button. Should have used a comma there somewhere. Use L button wisely, use head. You keep up is impressive. Okay, I've been, ah, oh, son of a bitch. I've been dilly-dallying long enough. I should have been a lot farther by now. Speaking of which. Um, but yeah, one more thing to say, bef you know, before I continue, I promise this will be the last time. Um, the distance you cover with the spin jump in Dream Team is actually the most in, like, in the entire series thus far. Eh, just thought I should note that. Yeah, that's the farthest distance in the series. Quite interesting. Alright, we're out of that. Taunt ball again. Oh yeah, and we could backtrack. Or actually, we technically are. We're just back in the main part of Mount Pajamaja now. We just had to go on a higher ground. Speaking of high jump, I wish we had that here. Huh? Where did those meathead bros go? Meathead bros. It, did we lose them? Whoa! Mario, look! It's one of the pillows. Huh? That pillow, uh... Really let himself go. Nonsense. That's simply a mega pillow. Hmm? There's another one over there. Mario, Luigi, try reviving these two mega pillows. They may know something about the gate over there. He's got a point. Let's do it. Nighty night, Luigi. Whoa, what a big pillow. How would that feel on your neck? Leg. Sometimes that happens. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Like, at some points that game lags as well. So, I don't know. Is it considered a 100% finished game? Or could the develop you know, the developer is just not help it. I don't know, I'm, I'm not quite... Alright, hey guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I actually just got a call. And, uh, that interrupted the recording. Um, so, so, sorry for that skip. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's fight another baddie, shall we? Ooh, almost touched me. Luigi's like, yeah, that was close. But, yeah, um, one of my friends just called me and wanted to arrange a get-together, so, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Oh, yeah. That's actually a pretty easy attack to defend, even though it doesn't look like it. And oh my gosh, Aurora Borealis. So beautiful. Alright, let's try and do Luigi stack. I'm in the mood for it. Let's see if I can't do this. Oh, thought I messed that up. Come on. Oh, I messed the last one up, but don't worry. I'll still get an excellent. There we go. Oh! And I got a a rare pickup. What could it be? Oh, it's where. Okay. Sounds nice. Come on, bring it. 
Oh. Oh. Ah, just one of them. Well, actually, that, that that's a... Oh. I was gonna say, that's a good thing, because... I could have used a jump attack and filled up my badge meter, because it's that close. Um, anything else to get? Yes, there is. Dun, dun. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. Alright, I guess that's good. Um, you know what? Let's just defeat you. Let's just do that. And then we'll get Luigi up there. Yeah, right down the middle. That felt really awesome. And now Luigi's level 17! Damn, we're getting them up there pretty fast now. Hmm. Again, my choice. Oh, how beautiful. Uh, um, hmm. What should I choose this time? Well, BP's looking pretty low. Uh. Yeah, let's inc Oh! Oh yeah, it's looking pretty low alright. It's offering me five. Oh uh, well, let's get five then, shall we? Yeah! Yahoo! Nice. <laughs> and the music ended at that precise moment. Perfect. I'm loving this episode. Well, it's almost over. Okay, so... I see three nightmare chunks to our left. Now we just gotta make our way around. And oh! Another Luigianary work. Hmm. I feel the Luigianary aura in this place. Okay. Yeah! Hey, you think we can whirl around? Hmm, that sounds like a good idea. Okay. It's a good! Oh, whoa! You can change into other shapes, too. Yep, whirl around. The Luigi Noids formed into a cone. Ah, you can change shapes with the R button. Can you move around using the circle pad? I would think so. Why would I not be able to? The other side is pretty far away. Hmm. We don't have a spin jump in the dream world, so... Yeah, that's true, we don't have that here. So yeah, let's do that whirlwind idea. Yes, have you found enlightenment? Yes, we did. Whoa! You can hover? How far do you think you can float? Well, there's one way to find out. Mario's like, um... I think we can go pretty far. Uh-huh. Hmm. Let's go! Alright. Dreamy! This one's even farther than the first one. Huh. Can you spin again in midair to extend your jump? It looks tough, but it might be done. Or it must be done. How's that tough? Is this what people mean when they're sick of game tutorials? Because, yeah, I can totally see that. It's especially part one. Well done! Press the B button to hover even farther. Light as a feather. Now that's a hover spin. Alrighty then. Remember, press the... F Did it not just say this in the dialogue I skipped just now? Shut up. Can I press A? Yes, I can. Speed up the process. Not give me these dumb tutorials. Oh yeah, 50 coins. Oh, another 50 coins. Epic. Alright, that seems to be it. And now... Jump!
Eh, I guess we learned another Legionary work as well. Alright. Whoa. Ugh. I'm back. Thanks for the rescue. Your thanks can wait, friend. We need your help. Prince Dreambird, your majesty, it is an honor. How do you open that mighty gate? Well, you're in luck, sir. Opening the mighty gate is my job. What? Your job? Are, are you serious? I am, sir. But, uh... I can't open it by myself. It takes two megapilos to open it. Huh. Uh, another megapilo. Hmm. That must be the other big guy we saw. I sense you are correct. Little butter patties, you follow slow. I thought you fall down mountain. You must beef up. You must follow. If you are getting lost, follow beef. Large bro, your muscles, they are ripped ham. Small bro, you are cut like stony baloney. <laughs> Balagna. Uh, let's go revive that other mega pillow, shall we? Let's just go. Alright, um, I guess this is a good time to stop. Don't want to extend the video too long. Yeah, 68 and 86. Alright, let's get our attributes healed up. We'll save the game. And then, uh, yeah. Next episode, we will revive the other Megapilo. Farewell to them, guys.